I have been caught bang to rights. There I was, running down the street, trying to catch the post before he went on strike. When... Don't tell me your boss has seen you after you phoned in sick. No, Mozza did. But that was the whole point of you stage managing the day off work. I know, just so I could tell him I was too ill to go for the football tonight. Because it's your turn to drive. Don't know why I hate driving tonight games. You used to love driving the dark when we used to date. Oh, we never had 50 football hooligans surrounding us down a dark country lane. I thought you said Mozza knew how to avoid trouble. Oh, he does when he starts. Yeah. He disappears. I thought you parked away from all the troublemakers. Oh, we do for the Saturday games when Mozza's not working. We set off early so he can avoid explaining to his missus how he lost her book club money on the free 20 at Utoxeter. Of course, weekdays he stays late at work. In fear he might get home first and have to start the tea. Oh, night games. He takes ages to get ready, so we end up late enough to park in the away fans' car park. Who's Winston playing? Fugs United. You can't go! I've got to! Now I've seen I'm match fit. Tell him the cat's gone missing. But we've not got a cat. Yes, we have. Well, we can't have if he's gone missing. So you're agreeing with me. We've got a missing cat. Oh, if he gets me out of driving to the football. All right, I'll phone him. You can't. He'll still be at work. I'll phone him at work. You can't ring him there. But you always reckon he's got nothing to do. Well, it's only when he's covering my job. Hang on. You said you saw him driving down the road 20 minutes ago. He would have nipped out to have got a paper. Right, so when there's a news agent right outside the factory, he takes a four-mile detour to go to the one near it. He uh, got uh, banned from the one opposite the factory. I think you're lying. Oh, I don't tell lies. Yes, you do. You've already found him sick and you are not sick. Oh, you're worse. You're going to say the cat we've not got has gone missing. It is missing if we haven't got it. But you can't miss what you've never had. You're just trying to change the subject. Why did Mozza leave work early? I told you. Because he was going to the paper shop. I don't believe you. Well, don't believe me then. Look, if you don't tell me the truth, I'm not going to tell Mozza our cat's gone missing. <laughs> of course it's not gone missing. We've not got one. I'm going to imagine we've got one. Have you been mushroom picking? Or overdosed on those beachums you bought to make out I was ill that I didn't take because I'm not ill? No, I've just decided that everyone around here is lying and I'm going to start telling lies. We have now got a cat. Which is going to go missing. No, it's not. You can think up your own excuses not to go to the football. Oh, come on. Say it's gone missing. No. You've already told me not to find him at work. He'll be home by now. No, he won't. The match just kicked off. Can't have. Oh, I'm supposed to be driving him there. Yeah, but you're not. That's why you've had the day off sick. Oh, you still checks if I've recovered for the match. Yeah, but you've no need to recover because you've not been ill. But he doesn't know that. But you said he saw you run into the post box. Oh, are you sure the match has kicked off early? It's in the night paper. It's kicking off early. Oh, why didn't you tell me? No need. You said you've already seen Mozart going to fetch a night paper. Oh, but why didn't he stop? Probably looking for his missing cat. But he's not got a cat. Well, not if he's missing his name. Oh, this is ridiculous. He knows I've been off sick. He knows the match is kicking off early. He knows it's my turn to drive, but he's still not being in touch. He's probably looking for his missing cat. Listen, he's not got a cat and he's not got a missing cat. He might have a driving cat. Which will be a passenger cat when it's Mozza's turn to drive. See, you are starting to believe he's got a cat. It's going to take my place in his car. What are you doing? I'm phoning him to stay on bed before I lose my place to his cat. Not if his cat's going missing, you won't. Are you suggesting I kidnap a cat that doesn't exist? How do you know it doesn't exist? Because I've not seen one at his ass. Look, I might have a lover, but I'm not going to invite him round for tea when you're here. Are you trying to say Moserai's his cat from me? He must do if you've not seen it. Why would he do that? Because you're threatened by it. Oh, this is stupid. A cat's not going to want to watch a football match. Why not? Because apart from a mascot, I've never seen a cat at a football match. How do you know Mozart is not lining up his cat to be the new team mascot? The mascot's not a real cat, you know. Yet? Yeah, they'd never have a real cat as a mascot. Why not? Because I'd make sure it went missing. See, you're admitting you are definitely threatened by his cat. Only if it exists. I don't believe this. Not only am I married to a man that is scared to drive in the dark, but he's also bloody scared of cats. Why do you know it's not a tiger? It's not the type of pet you're going to leave with your neighbour when you go off to watch the football, is it? I don't know. He once left his alligator. Alligator? You're having me on? No, I'm not. What did the neighbour say? Not a lot. I'd have gone mad. Oh, not if it ate you first. The alligator ate the neighbour? Nah, he was only a small man. He lived on his own. Well, I'm 
surprised Mozza's not been done for murder. Oh, he never ate his name, but the alligator did. Yeah, but he owned it. Not exactly. Well, whose name was on the alligator certificate? I don't say. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm living with a murderer. Well, that depends. On what? If Mozza's cat's still in our cellar. See? You're admitting it. Mozza has got a cat. I knew you was lying. Oh, if only you knew the truth. Truth? You couldn't tell the truth if you served a ten-year apprenticeship. Well, that's why I've never given you the key to the cellar. I never wanted it. I just hoped that your mother was locked down there. She wouldn't have lasted long with Mozza's cat. What? The cat eats neighbours as well? Huh? Ah, the alligator. Bloody hell. Give me your keys. Why? Where are you going? I'm going to the football. It's safer.